Royal Reunion, Meghan Markle to face Prince William for first time in months amid Megxit. Meghan Markle will come face to face with her brother-in-law Prince William for the first time since Megxit. Here's when and where. Meghan Markle will soon reunite with her husband Prince Harry's brother Prince William. The two have not seen each other since before the Duke and Duchess of Sussex announced they would leave their role as senior members of the royal family behind at the beginning of January. The Duchess' final official engagement will be alongside her husband for a Commonwealth Day service at Westminster Abbey this month. This is where Meghan will see her brother-in-law for the first time in what is thought to be months. Meghan returned to the UK in January, when she and Harry announced their withdrawal from the firm, but it is not clear if she met with William at this point. The Duchess quickly flew back to Canada after the announcement and left Harry to meet with his relatives alone. The last time Meghan and William were seen together was in November, before Harry and Meghan jetted off on a six-week break to Vancouver Island, Canada, where they now live. Meghan and Harry will also meet with other members of the firm at the Commonwealth Day service, including William's wife Kate, Duchess of Cambridge and the Queen. The past couple of years has been tense for the Cambridges and Sussex's relationship. Royal expert Richard Fitzwilliams told Express.co.uk the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge will not have appreciated how Meghan and Harry so flagrantly disrespected the Queen and the institution. Apart from the upcoming official engagement, Mr Fitzwilliams said it's unlikely the couples would have any plans to meet. The royal reunion will take place on March 9 with activities including debates, school assemblies, flag-raising ceremonies, street parties cultural events and a multicultural, multi-faith service at Westminster Abbey in London. The theme for the 2020 Commonwealth Day is delivering a common future, connecting, innovating, transforming. Meghan and Harry caused a royal crisis with their bombshell announcement on January 8. Posting on Instagram, the couple revealed they would step back as senior members of the royal family, and work to become financially independent. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex also said they planned to balance their time between the UK and North America. However, since the announcement, Meghan has, along with her 10-month-old son Archie Harrison, been staying in Canada and not returned to the UK. Harry returned to the UK last week to attend an event in Edinburgh. Last week, Canada confirmed it would stop providing security for the couple when they stepped down as royals. This means the entire bill, estimated to be up to £20 million a year, could fall on British taxpayers. The round-the-clock protection for the couple and baby Archie could fall solely to the taxpayer-funded Metropolitan Police, despite the couple living in North America. On the couple's website SussexRoyal.com, they said, it is agreed that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex will continue to require effective security to protect them and their son. This is based on the Duke's public profile by virtue of being born into the royal family, his military service, the Duchess' own independent profile, and the shared threat and risk level documented specifically over the last few years. No further details can be shared as this is classified information for safety reasons. In addition to the Commonwealth Day service, Meghan and Harry will attend the Endeavour Fund Awards on March 5 in the Mountbatten Music Festival at the Royal Albert Hall two days later. Meghan will also take part in an International Women's Day tribute, but details are yet to be released.